Uh, well, I have got one of the handles from my cabinet and I decided to paint it black just to see what it's like. Uh, I like the shiny black, but um, best bet would be to go with a, um, a matte finish. Uh, I finished putting on the, the final coat of my white over my, um, uh, my actual uh, gray color. And uh, it's going to be time to, to distress. So I'm going to try it out. See what it's like, and then what I'll do is I gotta put on uh, a, a white wax, a, not a white wax, but a clear wax, and then uh, distress it around the edges here. This is the back side of my cabinet. The front side is uh, is similar, as you can see, but it's got a little bit more detail. Um, so I'll be doing uh, I'll be doing that, and for some reason. As you can see, if I can ever get this out of the way, as you can see, I uh, patched the hole uh, for the, the handle, but for some reason this particular type of uh, wood filler is just not, not covering, um, not covering enough, uh, well enough. So the distressing hopefully will eliminate that because I wanted to uh, switch to uh, uh, just a normal type knob uh, instead of the handle which I just showed you and um, I've got this I found a, ha a handle like a knob that I wanted uh, but not in the color so I've got a matte uh, spray paint uh, that I need to um, to spray paint along with the uh, these ugly hinges and uh, oh gosh they're horrible and uh, these are partially hidden uh, so, um, the only thing that you see is this, this portion, uh, on the cabinet, but, um, I, I don't really, uh, really like, like, like I said, I love the style of this particular knob and, uh, it's exactly what I wanted. Um, and, but I'm going to be spray painting it, uh, with the matte finish. So get that going. Okay, here we go. I've got uh, the screws and the hinges here uh, and my knob. Um, I'm going to just start spray painting it and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to move this guy around so I can get the other side. And I'm just putting the plastic down just to protect it. Okay, so that's done. Now hopefully it uh, won't take long to dry. Okay. You can see I've got all my stuff out of my medicine cabinet. And here I am, I've actually uh, taped off the edge of the cabinet. And you can see how shiny, like I don't know what this, this previous owner did, but uh, it looks like he added, because there's drips, and I've got to sand this down. Um, but uh, it's very shiny, so I'm assuming uh, he uh, put a clear coat over it. So I need to uh, actually bring that clear coat uh, down a, a, a notch and get rid of this shine and smooth it out a bit because it is rough. Uh, I don't even think he did a, a tack cloth with it uh, after he sanded or or whatever he did, but it was it's a real sloppy job. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this out and then I'm gonna put my first coat of paint on. Okay, so what I'm doing here, so I'm giving this a good sound, getting rid of the gloss, and getting rid of some of those bumps from the, uh, from the finish that he put on here, or 
whoever did making this much smoother going along the edge as well that way uh, when I do come and paint them uh, it'll have a the paint will have a nice tooth to adhere to okay so now I've got my uh, gray this is um, a Rust-Oleum uh, chalky paint. Uh, I do not go with Annie Sloan, um, mainly too because it's it's more expensive. It's a heck of a lot more expensive. So what I'm doing is I'm just using uh, a Rust-Oleum uh, chalky paint, and it's in country gray, and it's actually a very nice paint to use. <laughs> My dogs are trying to get into the bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting. And I'm, like I said, I'm just going with the green. I'm putting on a nice light coat. That's the important thing. You want to put on a light coat. You don't want to overdo it and oversaturate the, uh, the wood with uh, lots of uh, thick layers. You just want it nice and thin. And it doesn't matter if it if it's um, if it uh, doesn't completely cover. And I'm just going to go along the sides here, gently paint that. And thank goodness for painters tape, because I don't want to take a long time sitting here uh, going over everything. So plus two, you do not want to go continuously over once you paint it. Just continue with what you're doing and cover it one stroke. Like just don't continue to go over it over and over again because then you're gonna you're gonna make it streaky. Okay, you can see that my uh, white or my uh, gray is actually uh, finished drying and I'm going to, uh, it dried really well, uh, it, pretty, it very much so covered the entire thing and I decided I'm not going to do the inside here, I'm just going to leave it, just do the face and the, and the sides here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do uh, a uh, top coat of white. And then I'll start to, once that's dry, then I'll, I'll distress. So, uh, cause I've, I've actually finished my, uh, my, uh, door and, uh, put the knobs on and fantastic. It, it just turned out fantastic. I, I'm, I'm very pleased with it considering I don't have all the, uh, uh, stuff that, um, Usually, uh, you know, uh, designers and that use like the uh, Debbie's uh, Design Diary uh, DIY paint and so forth and uh, Annie Sloan chalk paint. You don't have to use all that, uh, all those uh, more expensive. Uh, not saying that uh, Diane, uh, Debbie's is expensive, but uh, I think Annie Sloan is a little expensive, but that's just me. Because uh, I'm trying to go as cheaply as possible on... Uh, on doing a, a bathroom makeover and uh, seeing how far I can get with that. So I'm going to continue with this and uh, get the second coat on. Okay, so you can see that my um, frame is dry. So now what I'm going to do is I've got a sanding block like this one and some sandpaper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress by uh, sanding down uh, the edges and revealing the gray, the gray that's behind uh, all of this. So then I can get going on the dark wax. So I'm just going to lightly sand and slowly, as you can see, you might not, but uh, you can <laughs> slowly reveal the gray and that's basically what I want. And what you want to do is you want to do the edges really. You don't want to, you want to leave the middle portion uh, uh, intact 
and just slowly bring up the, uh, the color of the gray or whatever color you choose to use. One of these days I'm going to get brave and go with more bold colors, but uh, I'm always afraid I'm going to, I'm not going to do it right and it's going to look funny and so like I said, I'm just lightly bringing out uh, the colors, uh, the color back around the edge. And you want to, if you want, you can do a little bit more pressure on the corner here to bring out more of the gray underside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dark, I'm going to use a dark wax and uh, hopefully, uh, as you can see, if I could ever move this thing. Uh, as you can see, it's slowly, slowly coming up right here. It's uh, starting to reveal more of the gray. So, so basically, that's uh, that's that's what you do. So I'm just going to keep at it until I get the look that I want. And you can distress and, and smooth it out a little bit more, not make it as edgy uh, with uh, a little bit of water uh, and a, a dab cloth. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just wiping Wiping everything down so I can get rid of all the dust. And then what I'm going to do is uh, put a clear coat on, on it uh, along with a, uh, a nice um, uh, bit of dark wax. So it'll go with the, uh, the um, door that I uh, just finished. So I've got uh, some paste wax here, some clear wax. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub it on in a circular motion. Making sure that I get everything covered. Because what I'm going to do is you want to make sure that the wax is wet still when you apply the dark wax. Now by putting the dark wax on next, like after, you're controlling how dark actually it's going to be so you can rub it off and, and so forth. So I'm going to just work in little, little areas at first. Just rub it in. And then I'm going to apply the dark wax on top of it. And what this does is it gives it a nice seal. So now I'm going to take my dark wax, put that away, and I'm going to take dark wax, as you can see here, and I'm just going to do the edges. But I'm not doing it everywhere. I'm just applying it in certain spots. so that it just enhances okay and I'm just gonna work it in so that it is actually uh, you don't see the streaks or anything like that Because what I'm trying to do is I want to go for an older look and I want to get rid of all the... So I'm just slightly smearing it 
and evening it out. And what I'm going to do is later, once this dries, I'll buff it, buff it out. So just make this look kind of old and de decrepit. And it's not like the uh, like the Annie Sloan or like the dark wax. I mean, because that really is is dark. This is more subtle, which is what I want. So my uh, wax is dry. It's dry to the touch, but it's still like uh, skinny. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get rid of that tackiness, so to speak, and uh, gloss it up to a nice, uh, buff it up to a nice shine. So what I'm going to do is just circular And what it does too is it evens out the, um, the dark wax. So what I want to do is I want to buff it out, give it a nice good shine. And I'm using a lint free rag. And it is just coming out beautifully. So I'll go ahead and finish this and then get this cabinet back together. Okay, so it is done. Now I am just so stoked with how it turned out. So it turned out beautifully. And I'm leaving the inside just plain white. Um, the knob that I chose uh, was a brushed nickel and I spray painted it uh, with uh, a matte black along with the hinges that were those hideous brassy color. So this turned out beautifully. I'm so pleased uh, and how my vanity cabinet is going to turn out. So I'm, I'm really excited. So and I can't wait to get started on that. So go out and get inspired and give it a try. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.